so my name is Elina Duobele. Uh, I am a shoe designer and a former architect. And I, we are at the moment in my shop and also an atelier and a studio which was uh, um, which I created four years ago with the idea in my mind that uh, I want to create this place where uh, people, customers are uh, um, introduced with the design and also they have a, like a glimpse of how the design is made, the real production uh, with uh, um, the atmosphere. Nowadays people search for something that can last, something that can last through the seasons, something with the story behind it and high quality and something they can uh, cherish and preserve. So I believe uh, uh, this uh, movement has started already years ago, but it's going to become a bigger and a bigger uh, in the, the society, uh, hopefully around Europe, around, around the world maybe. Some people say, well, it's all right to set up your own business for your own dream, but what well, you need to be very rich to do that. Okay, so I don't agree with that because I started this all uh, with a very small amount of money. And uh, I believe that if you are obsessed with your vision and idea of what you want to do and what you believe you can do your best, uh, so then you will find the money or the money will find you. I mean, uh, what I did, I applied for a few granting programs for designers and for small uh, business startups. And uh, with the help of this uh, money, I could open my place, I could uh, open my atelier and then also it was important for me to start selling straight away. So it also gives you straight away the feedback from the clients. It gives you money and, uh, and the business slowly is starting to... Um, starting to go. And finally, how important is um, craft, uh, creating stuff for mm -hmm. Latvian culture? So, uh, historically, the craft has been uh, in the culture always and uh, I mean, uh, I still have some of my grandmothers, you know, sued um, sewings and, 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 and uh, amazing things they did with their hands. And uh, at this moment I feel that it's um, a strong thing that we can combine the, this kind of historical craft experience together with the new um, now the, like uh, modern ideas we have in our uh, mind and combining it together it uh, gives a way for uh, us to um, kind of uh, evolve the ideas and also to preserve the crafts and uh, give the new meaning uh, for it. When you have a dream, many people try and talk you out of it because there are risks involved. You could go bankrupt. Um, what do you say to, to those who advise um, to stay safe, stay in your office job? Actually, yes, I had... Um, when I started, of course, I uh, um, had a consultations with several people, you know, what do you think about the idea and what do you think? And, and uh, I remember that those people who were uh, uh, working in the economical field, they were like, okay, you're crazy, uh, it's not going to work. And well, I think that if you really are obsessed, you have to have like a blackout you know, when you are like, uh, no matter what, you just do what you feel you have to do. And then, uh, well, with me, it, it, it just worked out. It, and I believe it's just because of this uh, blackout that you, you don't, you know, listen to... Follow your dream. Yeah.